Oh, hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Oh, <laughs> hi there, kiddos. Sorry, I just need to finish this last page real quick. And the bird pooped twice. Okay, sorry. It's just, uh, it's just been a wild week. As you know, I have a role in a theater play that's coming up in a little over a week. And then I couldn't even believe I had to memorize those lines for the part. That's all I've been doing, sitting here, standing here, reading these lines and memorizing them. I'm like a regular De Niro. You talking to me? talking to me you see de niro is this actor who was really big in the 70s 80s and 90s you know it's not important <laughs> oh yeah huh? anywho i was really needing some help here because here's the thing running lines is pretty difficult when you're by yourself so i was thinking if you're cool with it you could help me yes yeah there we go okay so here's the thing my name is sheriff saddlebottom I'm a charismatic space cowboy from the planet Cutie Patootie, whose only purpose is to fight for justice and eat bean burritos. And you're the local school principal who has a clue for me. Ready? Action! Three, two, one! Well, Miss Simmons, I heard you have the clue that make me find the gangs of the galaxy geese. Oh, uh, your line is, Well, I don't know, Miss Mr. Saddlebottom, but I heard these geese are allergic to pepperoni. I'll put it on the screen for you. I'll see you again from the top. Action! Well, Miss Simmons, I heard you might have the clue to make me find the help me find. Hmm. Well, Miss Simmons, I heard you had the clue to make me help. <clears throat> well, Miss Simmons, I heard you had the clue to help me find the gang of galaxy geese. Pepperoni, you say? Well, I'll be. Where do you reckon I find some of these pepperonis in these parts? Yes, that was perfect. Thank you. See, I told you it was easier for someone else. Thanks for helping me. Except for those who didn't say anything, you know who you are. Carl. Grace, hey, how's it going? So good. I couldn't wait to check in and see how the lines were coming. Oh, Grace, I just had the, had the kids help me out and I just, I feel like a million bucks. Like a young De Niro. Who? Never mind. Anywho, they are such a great support. And I know I won't have you on the stage with me, but I'll be thinking about how you help me. You know, you just reminded me of Esther's story again. Really? Perfect. Why? Well, there's a part of the story where Esther has to go up and do her own thing while her friends and family support her. You remember Haman, right? <laughs> how could I forget? I mean, he's the guy who tried to hurt Mordecai last time. That's him. Well, Haman, who was King Xerxes' right-hand man, goes to talk to the king. He begins to lie and tell King Xerxes that the Jewish people are terrible for their kingdom. He talks so much that Xerxes believes him and gives him the authority to make whatever laws he wants. Oh no! Come on, Xerxes! So Haman then told his leaders to let everyone know that within the year, on a specific date, all Jewish people and their families would be destroyed. That was now the law. This is an awful story. Well, it's not over just yet. Mordecai found out about this new law and it devastated him. He began to mourn and grieve and he was very upset. And back then, you would wear different clothes to let others know you were grieving. And when Esther found out Mordecai was at the city gates dressed like he was, she sent a messenger to find out why. Hold on to your crown, Esther. You're in for some bad news. When the messenger came back to Esther, they told her why Mordecai was sad. But Mordecai had another message for Esther. I don't think I can handle any more bad news. 
he told her that she needed to go to Xerxes and tell him to cancel the order Haman had put into place. But Esther, well, she didn't know if it was a good idea to help. What? Why? Well, she obviously knew it was good to help her people, but there was a problem. No one, not even the queen, was allowed to talk to the king without an appointment. What happens if she goes and talks to him? Well, Esther would most likely be killed. So you can imagine Esther's fear. She sent the messenger back with that message, but Mordecai sent another one back. What did it say? Mordecai told her that even though she's the queen, Haman's law would still affect her. And maybe, just maybe, God put her in the position to be the queen for exactly this moment. Whoa, that's a good point. Man, this is a tough spot for Esther. It really is. So Esther decided to send one more message back to Mordecai. I don't know who this messenger guy is, but he's getting a workout today. He really was. So Esther's message to Mordecai said this, Go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king even though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Wow! Giving up to Esther, I mean, she was like really brave. Right? Whoa, what was that? Oh, well, that is intermission. What is interfishing? Intermission. It's what people at plays do to give them and the audience a break. Oh, so like two minutes or... Well, I actually thought it would be fun to pick up the rest of the story next week. What? No! I gotta know what happens! You can't stop now! <laughs> Sorry, Carl, but I promise we will finish it next time and you're gonna love it! <sighs> Fine, but to be clear, I am not on board with this whole inner messing stuff. Aren't you excited to see where the story leads us? I know I am. So, today's big Broadway idea is God gives us support behind the scenes. Just like you helped support Carl with his lines and how Mordecai and the Jewish people supported Esther. So, let's shout it out on the count of three. One, two, three. God gives us support behind the scenes. Bravo, kids. Bravo. So make sure you tune in next week to see what happens when Esther decides to go talk to King Xerxes. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Bravo.